Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Beth, I'm a homeschool mom of four, and if you are new around here and you are wanting to get started homeschooling this year, you wanna hit subscribe and hit that notification bell because my channel is all about helping you get started with homeschooling. In this video, I'm going to be addressing a homeschool routine and what my routine is in my house. First off, I just wanna clarify the difference between a routine and a schedule for your homeschool. It is completely different. A homeschool schedule most of the time says, from this time to this time, we're going to eat breakfast. From this time to this time, we're doing this certain subject. This time to this time, we're taking a break. This time to this time. And I, we don't do that. I, I don't live by that kind of block schedule. I have a routine and that means that I plan out our days. I know what we have to get done. I know how long those things are kind of going to take. And I also know some other things that we're gonna have to get done too. And so as long as I know what needs to be done every day and my kids know what to expect every day, that is our routine. And I do believe that a routine in your homeschool is super important to keep consistent for your kids to know that every day when they wake up they know what to expect for the most part um, I think it's super important but I do not live by a rigid schedule where everything is planned out block by block and everything takes a certain amount of time that's just not how I do things I actually made a video about why I don't create a homeschool schedule and why I use a routine instead so that video is here if you want to check that out I've shared in previous videos how I teach my kids math and reading separately because those are really um, based on their ability level. So I can't teach those at the same time. But everything else that we do is all taught like a one-room schoolhouse. We all learn them as a family. So history, geography, art, music, science, all of those we're able to do together. I also just want to say up front that everybody's homeschooled routine is going to be completely different. Your routine is going to be based on your personality. If you're more of a night owl and you like to sleep in and so do your kids, or if you're someone who likes to get up bright and early and get started and get everything out of the way first thing in the morning, that's really going to matter in your homeschool routine. Also, based on how many kids you have, what ages they are, if you're in a co-op, if you have other extracurricular activities outside of the house, if you work part-time or full-time out of the house, all of those factors play into your homeschool routine. So nobody is gonna have the exact same routine for their homeschool, but I'm gonna be sharing mine with you just to get a taste of something if you've never done this before and you don't know what kind of a routine you should have. We're doing things a little bit differently than we did last year. So this year, we are starting out our mornings by doing all of our work that we do together at the same time. So once my kids get up and they are eating breakfast and they're almost done with their breakfast, that is when I start with our Simply Charlotte Mason enrichment studies. And that looks like us talking about us doing a picture study. And then we will study our memory verse for that week. Every day is different in those enrichment studies, so we might do, uh, we might listen to music from Bach or another famous composer, and then we'll do a handicraft like crochet or sewing, and then we'll also do something like reading a short poem. They're all different and they don't take very long. The next thing that we do after that is I usually read a chapter from our history curriculum, which is the story of the world. Those chapters are super short and the kids can be listening to those. We've been doing that in the living room where kids are sitting on the couches or the chairs and I'm kind of sitting on the floor, kind of in the middle of it. And that's just worked for us because we're all comfortable. We're all sitting there listening. A lot of the times my kids are either drawing or coloring or quietly playing with cars. Whatever keeps their hands busy while I'm reading is actually really good for their retention. Attention. So I let them do that while we're getting started with our day. After I read our short history story, I get into our read aloud. And so right now we're reading Trumpet of the Swan. So I just read one chapter to all of them. Sometimes my toddler gets up and walks away and that's totally fine. She's not, I'm not too worried about if she's paying attention or not. Um, and sometimes my five-year-old will get kind of bored and she'll walk away too. I don't force them to sit there the whole time. I do expect my older boys to though. So I would say that this morning time where we're all doing things together might take about 30 to 45 minutes. And keep in mind that that's also just a small chunk of our day. Once we're done with our enrichment studies, the history chapter and the read aloud, we take a break. The kids get up and get a snack or we get up and 
go outside for a little bit or I have to do something like switch the laundry and so we take a break from that. Everybody gets up and moves around a little bit. Next, each of my school age kids, so not my toddler, takes turn doing math and reading with me. So they're all in different math levels and they're all doing different reading levels. And so they all take turns. And while one of them is working with me, the other one is playing or keep keeping an eye on their sister or they are doing a chore that I give them. It's up to them what they wanna do with that time. And after that, we break for lunch. And then my toddler goes down for her nap right after lunch, and that is when we do our science curriculum. And the reason that I chose to do our science curriculum when she's napping is because a lot of the times it's a little bit longer reading material, and then we might also do an experiment or an activity that just is really hard to do with a toddler around. And so I save that for when she's napping in the afternoon. I honestly did not come up with this routine like before our school year started. I just started our first day doing this this way, and we been doing it ever since and it's been working out really well for us the other thing I want to remind you is that we are doing lots of other things throughout our day and so sometimes we might get out and um, go outside for a walk early in the morning if it's still really nice weather and so we would get started with our school a little bit later than that or some days we would have errands to run in the morning and so I would get we would get those things done and then we would come back home and then we would get started and as long as we get everything done it's all right to kind of go off of that strict schedule. Again, I don't have set times for these things. I just know what we need to get done. But if we want to take a little bit longer reading our history stories or discussing a history topic, I'm not going to say, nope, it's time to do science now or nope, we got to save that for later. At the same time, if my kids are whizzing through their math and getting it done in 15 minutes, I'm not going to say, well, we got 10 more minutes, so you better keep going with that math. No, I just let them be done. So once we're done with all of our book work, um, our kids really get to choose whatever else they want to do during the day. And that could be um, playing outside. Um, the other day we made slime in the afternoon after science, or they like to play a lot of imaginative games together. Um, my son likes to draw maps, and so he'll draw weather patterns on maps. That takes up a lot of his afternoon. My other son loves to play with Legos, so he'll He'll go and do that. My daughter that's five in kindergarten loves to play with her stuffed animals and come up with games for them. So I really just let them have mo uh, the rest of that time to be whatever they want to do. I give them that unstructured time to be bored or to do whatever interests them. And that's been working out really well for us. In the past, our routine has been a little bit different. What I've done is I've really tr tweaked our routine so that my kids know that we are doing school in short little chunks so that they don't feel overwhelmed about what our day is going to look like. They know that if they want to be able to get a snack, they can get a snack whenever they want and we'll still be doing school. They know that we're going to get outside at some point during that day. They know that we're going to take lots of breaks and we don't have to sit for too long because they don't like to do that and I don't like to do that. But like I said, when you are coming up with your homeschool routine, you really need to think about if your kids are early risers and they work really well in the morning. Maybe they don't. Maybe they work best in the afternoon. I know some homeschool families that homeschool in the evening. Whatever is best for your family, that is what you should do with your routine. If your kids like to sit for long periods of time and just get all of their work done in one chunk, then you can do that. If they really want to have it broken down into small little increments so they can take lots of breaks, then do that. You really have to look at your schedule too. If you have your kids in extracurricular activities this year, if you have places that you have to be during the week, um, schedule those for a certain time of day so that you know you'll be home at a certain time of day to get your work done. But I hope that this was helpful to you. I hope that you kind of get a sense of what a homeschool routine looks like. Again, we get all of our stuff done every single day. Does every day look the same? Absolutely not. All of our days are different depending on my mood, my kids' mood, the weather, everything. But we do make sure that we get everything done. And we are doing this year what works best for us. And it's been working out so well. I would love to hear in the comments if you are a new homeschool this year and you are starting out with um, a routine. I'd love to know how it's working for you. Let me know. Also, if you have any other suggestions for anyone else watching this video, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And you can always email me with questions or thoughts at teachfromhomebeth at gmail.com. Also, I 
share a lot about our homeschool days on my Facebook page and my Instagram. So if you want to go follow those, those are in the description box. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.